Hello and welcome to this March 11, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Well, today, rather than take a look at individual stocks, I want to take a look at this index, the Dow Jones U.S. Financial Index, because in my opinion, this is going to be the one index that is going to help determine whether or not the market overall can make another breakout to the upside. In particular, I'm talking about the S&P 500. If you go back and take a look at the very top portion here of this chart, you'll see that over the last several months, and this chart goes back uh, 10 months, back to um, uh, the summer of 2009. And you can see the relative strength on financials was at its peak back during August, September, and October. And then during the rest of the year, as the S&P 500 was climbing to new highs, you can see on a relative basis, financial index was not doing particularly well. Um, that was because it was mired in this consolidation range. So even though the market overall was breaking to, to the upside, financials were lagging on a relative basis. That all appears to be changing now. Over the course of the last couple of months, we saw financials on a relative basis start to stabilize off of this relative downtrend that we had in play from October through December. Throughout the, the first couple of months of 2010, we simply just went sideways, and now we're seeing a short-term relative breakout in financials. And again, this line is just the financial index divided by the S&P 500. So the financials now on a relative basis are starting to move higher, and that's always a good sign for the stock market. Uh, you combine that with the MACD on the financial index, which is looking very strong, looks very similar to what we saw back in July and August when we had a huge run-up in the financials, and also on a relative basis we had a huge run-up. It's probably a little too early to tell whether or not we're in for something like that, but it is definitely a sign, a bullish sign, um, at least to see this group outperforming, even if it is just in the near term at this point. Um, now part of the problem here um, going long is we have to be careful because we're at a very key pivot point uh, or a potential pivot point, point in the chart because if you take a look back to the October high in the financial index itself you can see it was right at 276. Well today we closed at 276.36 so literally uh, a fraction of a point higher than we were back in October. So this is a critical resistance area. This is where we would expect the bears to put up a little bit of a fight and so we're going to find out whether or not financials have enough uh, uh, bullish momentum to break out of this consolidation range and start to take the market to another level. So it's going to be very interesting as we uh, end the week whether or not financials can make this breakout and can help carry the market higher. One of the problems it's going to have is we've got an RSI reading right now at 71 and a half. We've got stochastics at 94 almost. That combination is normally pretty lethal in the market when you get overbought. RSI is over 70, stochastics over 90. Generally, that's closer to marking a top than it is to witnessing a breakout. So we've got some mixed signals here, and I think that uh, watching this index over the next couple days will go a long way towards determining whether or not the overall market um, has any more legs left in this rally. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.